people recognize you without your hair? Weirdly, I have had a few people um, recognize me because I, in the last season, I started to have my hair up as well. So I have had people recognize me, but I don't get the same anxiety in airports that I used to because with the long hair and the beard, I was super recognizable. But now it's like, if I wore sunglasses, I think I'd be okay. Prodigal Son is about uh, Malcolm Bright, who's a criminal profiler, um, whose father happens to be a very, very famous serial killer who's locked up in jail. Um, at the beginning of the story, he comes back to New York uh, to confront his past and his family. He starts working with the NYPD. Um, and it's a lot of him, he has a lot of trauma from his, from his youth and things that he might have seen. And a lot of it is about him exploring himself and, and his history and how to come to terms with that. At its heart, it's about family. It's just, uh, you know, a very extreme family, but at its heart, it's about family dynamics, the family that he was born with, and then the family that he makes uh, the NYPD. It's a show about a family uh, that is uh, maybe a little more dysfunctional than most. The father, played by myself, is a notorious serial killer. Uh, in prison, he's known as the surgeon. He's done terrible, terrible things. And yet, for most of his life, everyone thought of him as a very respectable, brilliant uh, surgeon himself. Um, and so his son is someone who has now become very, very good at, at spotting and hunting down killers because of who his father is. So they have this very odd relationship where I kind of help him in his work, but I'm still in prison. And our family, our daughter is a reporter. Our mother is a very strange sort of socialite woman. So the relationship between everybody is kind of what keeps the drama going. When you're doing a pilot, you've only got one script to go on. So you sort of need to feel that there's a lot of potential there and possibility. And I thought, well, this is an interesting character. He's totally likable. You would never think of him as a bad guy if you just met him. And yet we know that he's done terrible things. So. It, and seeing how that plays out in the family as well is really interesting. Well, you've gotten to do some pretty amazing TV work in the last I have. few years. Too. I've been very lucky. Yeah. Well, that's what it, you know. It, it's about being good, but it's also about love. It is no joke. I mean, I won the lottery getting to play Melly for seven years. I truly, truly did, and that's what led me to Jessica. And Jessica is diabolical and just dry and just pill popping and bitter. She's mm, 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 mm. when you play such an iconic character, yeah. though, and then everybody knows you as that. Is that tough as an actress to move on? No, you're so lucky to get it, you know, like you see, this is a dark way to say it, but you see obituaries of someone who played something on the Waltons or something, you're like, oh, that person made a difference in my life, that I got a role like that, I'll be grateful forever.